The FAA has no idea what they're doing, and the American public is paying the price. Not only is Remote ID unconstitutional, but its implementation has failed several times. They've pushed the date back on Remote ID three times. This not only shows their incompetence, but their utter lack of planning for this to go forward. Regardless, the FAA seems hell-bent on ruining our good time, so today I bought a bunch of Tiny Whoop stuff, and I'm going to show you at home how to build and fly a Tiny Whoop that can skirt the FAA Remote ID bullshit laws. Huge shout out to Wee Bleed FPV for sponsoring this video. I'm going to be giving out some Wee Bleed packs later on, so keep watching this video for your chance to win. If you don't know what gorilla whooping is, around 2017, the artist Zorro flew a tiny whoop in a mall for the first time in history, thus inventing the genre. Gorilla whooping is flying your tiny whoop in places that you normally wouldn't, such as home depots and inside of malls. It's harmless fun since they weigh like 28 grams, and the FAA can't regulate indoors. They only regulate outdoor airspace. So the worst thing that can happen is a store will ask you to stop. I okay. love that. I want one. If you've ever ran into anybody, a spouse or a sibling with a tiny whoop, you know that they can't cause any damage. But when you fly your drone inside of buildings for some reason, you feel like a fucking criminal, so it's fun as hell. Let me show you how to build one. For this build, we're going to be using the Tiny Whoop Hex motors, 802 27,000s, and they come in this baller ass gold color. Look at that, baller ass gold motors. I'm not a huge fan of most beta FPV things because of quality control stuff, but these flight controllers seem to be okay. They're whatever, so I'm using this beta FPV ELRS built in little whoop board. For video system, we're going to be doing this HD Zero Whoop Light board. And now no light camera. I'm not sure where this came. Oh yeah, I know where this came from. And something very special for this build. This is a new yet to be released We Bleed FPV Focus. We Bleed FPV Frame. Look at these little spikies. These little spikes are supposed to make it easier to turtle mode and shit. Um, there's probably some other stuff with this frame that makes it fancy or unique. I don't know though. They sent it to me. Thank you, We Bleed FPV again. All right, when I do my Whoop builds, I'll usually do all four motors first, and then I'll do the flight controller, and then I'll put in the video system. One thing about Whoop motors, though, is these screws are freaking tiny and kind of hard to manipulate. That's where, that's where the robotic magnet implant comes in super handy. Watch me, look. I just put my finger in the bag. Boom, all the screws are immediately attracted to me, just like your sister. Big shout out to Jesse of Tiny Whoop for sending me the screwdriver. It came with a little note that said, hey, this is a fantastic screwdriver, and you're right, it is fantastic. All right, I like to start, oh, fuck these. So yeah, bad eye and fucking no feeling in your fingers like me. Tiny whoops can be a little frustrating. So I like to put it on the screwdriver first and then jam it in the hole. All right, I'm not gonna make a whole fucking 10 minute video of me screwing on the screw, so let's just do a little bit of magic. All right, there's that. And then we take the magical item, which is this weed, and we put it on top. Easy as that. Motors are on. Whoops, here's an important step I almost forgot about or I didn't forget about. It just I usually do this part first. So it comes with these screws to install the flight controller, but we're not gonna do that because we're gonna be using these M2s right here to make it more of like a stack, like in a five inch. So we gotta drill this motherfucker out. All right, so these holes aren't really where I was trying to put them, but I, that's good enough. Shit, where the fuck? Where the fuck did I put the screws? All right, if you're following along at home, uh, make sure you drill your holes correctly. You don't want them to go in there crooked. I didn't mind crooked, and I don't regret it. You know what I mean? I live my life pretty fast. I could give a shit about a crooked little screw. Fuck, that is crooked as shit. That's fine, though. That's fine, though. We'll just... It's plastic. We'll, we'll figure that out together. All right, your next step, if you're following in along, is doing the fucking worst thing you have to do in FPV, and that's installing gummies in flight controllers. I hate, I hate this so much. You wanna watch me struggle? Here, watch me struggle to put fucking gummies in a flight controller. <laughs> oh fuck, I had it, I had it, and then I was gonna fake it for the fucking video, and it came out. You know, as I sit here fiddling with these gummies, it's pretty easy, it's pretty easy to get frustrated and wanna give up and be like, oh, what's the point? What's the point putting these gummies on here? But if I look at this list scrolling by, these are all my top tier patrons, and all I have to do is look at this list and I say, hey, you know what? I wanna disappoint these people. Look at all these people rooting for me, becoming a patron every single month while I put gummies on things because they believe. Look at that, because of the power of the patrons, I got a third one on. Thank you very much, why is it blurry? Now we're gonna put the flight controller on the frame. Here is a big brain pro tip. You see your motor wires, how they're kind of like fucking whatever. Once you plug them in, they're gonna be all fucking stupid like this. So big brain move, grab these motor wires, twist them up so they look like that and they can't separate. Then you're gonna plug it in. All right, I had to do it off camera because my stupid wonky, look at that screw, look at that wonky screw, whatever. It still goes on though, still fits on there, beautiful. 
All four motors, nice and braided up. That looks so much better than your shitty wires just fucking hanging out. I actually don't have the original gummies that came with this, but that's okay because Tiny Whoop hooked it the fuck up. I heard of these motors and some other stuff from Tiny Whoop and Jesse threw in a bunch of cool extras like some LED Whoop boards and stuff. But he also threw in some gummies, which is perfect since I lost the ones to that uh, HD0 board. Here's a tip for you HD0 folks. Solder the VTX to the VBAT pads instead of the 5 volt. If you solder it to the 5 volt, every time you hit something, it's going to go to rainbow screen and you're going to have to power cycle. If you solder it to VBAT, that doesn't happen. I don't know why. Another pro tip, if you have stupid fingers like me, tweezers definitely help. Now, if you've never built your own quad, building a Whoop is definitely a great way to start. There's very few parts. Like I said, all you gotta do is the VTX and the motors. Usually they have a built-in receiver and all that, but it, it'll teach you how to solder. It'll be especially frustrating because all Tiny Whoop shit is tiny as fuck. We got the camera and the whip antenna installed. Time for a canopy. For the canopies, I just use this one right here that Captain, this whole build is just Captain Cannoli's build that I pirated, now it's Bot Grinder's build. This is a canopy that John Goblin made. This fits, walk snail fits HD zero, definitely fits analog. Good canopy, I'll put a link below to it in the uh, in the description or whatever. And just like that, the build is good. That went pretty smoothly. Hopefully programming it goes uh, just as smooth. Let's find out. I don't have enough USB ports on my computer to plug in my webcam because I need my keyboard. So this shit's already good. Let's go to configuration. This is the way that I do mine. I don't give a shit about an accelerometer. Oh, do we know if the flight... I'm going to assume the flight controller is the right way. I'm just going to leave all this shit alone. Yep, yep. All that looks good. Everything looks fantastic there. I'm going to head over here to presets and I'm going to look up HD0. HD, that's not how you spell it. HD0 VTX. This is if you have HD0. If you have other things, then... Use your other things. I'm on UART too. All right, good. I'm going to pick that. Yep. I'm going to greet all that. Save and reboot. All right, cool. And I come back over to the presets and I'm going to type in. This was uh, tipped off to me to use the Justice Race Whoop Tune. So I'm going to try this. Uh, I do have RPM filters enabled. RC Link. I'm going to do 250. I'm going to do a normal tune. Uh, I don't care about any of that stuff. So we're going to pick that. And we're going to save and reboot that. We're also going to come into the presets one last time and type in ELRS250 because that's what he uses, ELRS250. What's this? Freestyle? Sure. Uh, SPI on the flight controller, single cell voltage. Nope, we don't care about actual rates. Save and reboot that. Now for rates, I like to come in here. I'm going to bump up this uh, sense. Wait, what the fuck is this bullshit? What the fuck is this actual? Get the fuck out of here. Give me my old school beta flight rates. Yes, beta flight rates. Up these by two. This is how I do mine on everything of this until that column on the right says 816. Since it's a tiny whoop, I'm actually only gonna do it about 785. Usually I would do it higher if it's a freestyle quad. Tiny whoops, I still like to have fast rolls and shit, but we're not gonna do it quite as fast. I also do like 0.25 expo on five inch quads. Some tiny whoops, we're gonna do 15. I like to dial everything back just a little bit on tiny whoops, and that should hopefully be all we have to do, unless you wanna give your drone a snarky name. I like to give my shit a snarky name. So I come over here, configuration, and where is the craft name? Meteor 75. Nah, this thing is going to be called um, T F T F A A. That stands for fuck the FAA. Save and reboot. Oh, well, shit. Hang on. Here's here's something I didn't count on. The Wii Bleed frame doesn't fit 35 mil props. It only fits 31 mil props. And there we go. Got it all transferred over to this blue frame. This is, I think this is a cockroach one. I don't know. This is a frame Captain Canola gave me. We'll be using the Wee Bleed one for something else, but I like this color scheme, man. This looks nice. Oh, the stickers? You're commenting about these? Yeah, you could have these too every single month. I send them out to my patrons every single month. Damn, look at this fucking bike though. You'll see, you'll see definitely a lot more about this bike in the future in the next few upcoming videos. After my 100 mile trip on a fixed gear, I reached out to State Bikes and I was like, yo, you wanna do a collab? Send me a geared bike. Send me something with fucking gears and I'll make a video about the bike and drones they sent it to me. So that, that's coming up soon. Watch for that if you're interested in that. Now, even though these things are only like 28 grams, they can't really hurt you if they fall out of the sky. Before I take this downtown in public, stuff like that, I wanna make sure it works. I wanna make sure the radio signal is good. I wanna make sure the VTX signal is good. Cause the last thing I want is to climb a big ass building and have either the video or the fucking radio go out, you know? So I figure if I can rip it around this bando and it does just fine, then I'll do just fine downtown. So let's do a little practice pack and then we'll get to the good stuff. All right, fresh ass we bleed packs. How's those rates? Rates are fantastic. That is just what I want to see. Let's go ahead and do the video test first. Let's go inside here. If I get video inside of this wall, yeah, we're good. That means I can go behind buildings and shit. Here, let's go behind a double wall. Starting to break up. Not bad, not bad. Definitely fly throughable. All right. 
RC test, let's go far. Let's go far. Let's keep an eye on that little uh, LQ thing or whatever, dropping dropping as I'd expect it to. If this falls in the water, I'm gonna be so fucking upset. LQ looks good, looks good. Yep, LQ's good. That's a fantastic range test. I doubt I'll be flying farther than that in any of my little flights. I don't wanna break everything right away doing the test. Split S, good, good. It can handle a pullout. That's what I wanted to see. Let's see if we can do a wall ride on this one. It does have some weight, which means it should have some momentum. See if we can do a little wall ride. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. One more dive to make sure you can pull out a dive on a lower battery, because when you climb the buildings, you're gonna be lowering your battery and oh, a little, little wobble, that happens. Pulls out just fine, cool. I think we got ourselves a fantastic little gorilla whoop here. Let's go downtown and fucking cause some chaos. All right, it took me a minute to make it down here, but I'm honestly not sure this is the best time to, uh, to be flying drones around downtown. the next day okay that's better that is that's far less people there was like a protest going on or whatever but it's a new day we're back down here no protests in the streets no cops everywhere a little safer to do some gorilla whooping like i said for this whoop to successfully be my new gorilla whoop it's going to have to pass a few tests one of them is going to be a building dive downtown one of them is going to be flying in a mall successfully and the other one uh well i'll say that one for surprise we're going to do the mall test first and this mall conveniently has a smoothie king so the plan here is going to be order a smoothie, sit down like a normal fucking consumer jabroni, slowly get the whoop stuff out, and then as I'm sipping, enjoying my smoothie, I'm going to fly my little whoop around unbeknownst to anybody else. Let's fucking go. Okay, that 100%, that definitely passed the mall test. As I was walking out, I didn't have my camera on, but as I was walking out, security guard walked by and heard him on the radio say, yeah, I'm looking, yeah, I'm looking. So definitely, I mean, going inside two stores, we're definitely gonna be calling somebody fucking on you, but sick, this shit passes the mall test. Next step, the building dive test. Let's go find a, uh, hell yeah. Let's go find a super fucking tall building. This is gonna be easy. I'm right downtown. In fact, actually, maybe I shouldn't do it by the mall since, uh, you know, people are there, but dude's outside right now. Yeah, that's, that's fucking, that's homie right there. So we're gonna go find another tall building. The city's full of them, we'll find another one. And here we go. That was easy, wait, where you go? Can you see it? Oh, it's so bright, it's so bright you can't see it. Really, is it that blown out? You can see the base of it. This is, the, oh, there we go. Come on, this fucking camera. There we go, that's fucking, Thousand stories, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to fucking gauge these things. I'd guess about a thousand stories though, which means, and it's kind of windy, which means watching my battery as I go up this, it's probably gonna drop to like nothing. We're probably gonna have no battery power left as we dive it, which is why a good gorilla whoop, even on a low fucking sagging battery, will be able to pull up out of that shit. If it can't pull up out of this, it's going in the fucking garbage. Let's find out. Oh yeah, also I'm not gonna um, put my camera out and film myself. This is gonna be, I'll just put some tunes on and do this because I don't like camera to get fucking swooped. Well, shit, that worked really well. I, um, you know, 
this whoop's pretty good. It's just all standard shit. I didn't think it was gonna do bad, but that it made it all the way. That, that building is tall as shit. Like I said, it's like a thousand fucking stories. All right, I did say there's a third location, a top secret location that we're gonna go to. We're gonna head there right now. It's in real life for me. It's quite a fucking hike, but you know, for you watching this video, it'll just be an instant. It's the rock. Oh fuck! Can you see it? Fuck! I did this too far away. Hang on. It'll be instantaneously. Here we go, Rocky Steps. I figured this would be a good like final place to rip up and down the Rocky Steps to celebrate our achievements. This has gone pretty good, man. It did the building dive, no problem. Flew around the mall, inside of stores, no problem. This, I can say, this is based, like I said, did I say, what did I say? I think I said things. Like I said, this is based on Captain Cannoli's Gorilla Boot build, so big shout out to Captain Cannoli for giving me this parts list. I'll put links below, not affiliate links, because fuck affiliate links. Those are fucking stupid. If you use affiliate links, fuck you. Bacon Ninja doesn't use affiliate links. You should become my patron and Bacon Ninja's patron today because we don't use affiliate links because we're pure. We are pure YouTubers. I just want to be pure. All right, let's rip this fucking staircase, son. All right, let's get it. We got maybe two minutes on this battery. Can we cross the street? I don't want to fly over cars. Let's see what this guy's doing. What's this guy doing? Uh -oh. Drugs are not the answer. Let's see. Hey. Dude, sometimes weed helps. Sometimes weed helps people a whole lot. Oh, he loves it. He loves it. Let's follow this biker. Hey, buddy. Yeah. How you going, buddy? You going to bike lane, buddy? Well, this battery's a bit lower than I thought it was going to be, so let's follow our little buddy here for a second, and then we'll, uh... Hey, buddy. We'll peel off. We'll go up these steps. If this thing drops at 3.5, I got to bring it back, like, fucking immediately. But here we go. This is where, uh, Rocky Music plays. Play Rocky Music, climbing the steps. Oh, look at all these people posing for the drones very nice I appreciate that very much all the way to the top where it doesn't count boom rocky steps like a motherfucker man these fountains are ever going these fountains are really cool but I guess uh, they don't have any water or something I don't understand how fountains work this is fucking sick though bro yeah get a little whoop this thing is cruising up here do a little roll nice 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 these high rates I like the high rates on a whoop like I said they're not the same as my uh, my freestyle quad and shit just a little bit off but basically the same all right let's wait for the cars so we can cross the road cool this thing works there's gonna be links below like i said a minute ago for you to buy all the stuff in here if you want to copy this exact build the canopy is just a 3d print a little beta flight board and whatever if you do enjoy gorilla whooping there's going to be a, a video on the screen right there you can click on that that's when i went to new york and flew a vegan there's another one for my patreon if you want to support this channel you can do that but there we go that is how to build fly a gorilla whoop to fucking stick it to the FAA, dog. Fuck the FAA. <laughs>